All right, Waterloo Middle School students, Mr. Duth here again with you with another VEX code VR activity for you to do. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time uh, describing how to use the VEX code website um, or any of that. As you can see, I've already got um, a program written here. And I want to just point out two new tools that you can use. The first one is up here. Um, you can see where I have move robot pen. The robot that we're using here has a pen and we can put the pen down so that it draws a line. We can also change the color. Um, we'll change it to red for now, just cause red's fun. Um, so that's really cool because we can see where the robot has been. The robot can draw lines for us. You can see up here, I'm using the number grid map. And the activity that I'm going to have you be doing this week is called Cross Every Number. So you can see here, um, we're going to do the level one or the code that I wrote, and I'm going to run it for you in just a second, is the level one code, okay? Um, so what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and snake our way all the way up to the top so that our robot stops on the number 91, okay? So instead of writing all of these lines of code over and over again the other tool that i want to show you is this one right here it's the repeat block and if you scroll down a little bit in your code block options over here on the left you can see here's my repeat block and i can change the number of times this repeats so i've got this set to when it started we move the robot pen down imagine a little pen dropping down from your robot to touch the playground surface here we're changing it to a red pen and then four times the robot's going to turn right it's going to move forward it's going to turn left it's going to move forward it's going to turn left for eight it's going to move forward for 1800 millimeters and it's going to continue that for four times and then on our final time um, I took this out of the repeat block so that it would stop right on 91. So let's play that and see how that works. Here it goes. And the other thing I want to point out while it's running is you can see the green highlighted flashing um, thing over in the code. That tells you what the computer or what the robot is currently doing. So right now it's driving forward for 1800 millimeters. Remember each square in the grid is 200 by 200 millimeters. So now we're on the second time through the repeat. So far, we're doing pretty good. So there's some other challenges here. Um, let's uh, let's hop over here quick. You can see that um, you know it's got some other levels to the challenge, like crossing off each number. Um, so rather than drawing a line like this and snaking through everything, it, the level two challenge is just cross off 71, then pick up the pen and move to 72 and then just cross off 72 and so forth. Okay. So there's some other things that you can try to do with this challenge. Okay. Um, and I, I didn't really read level three. What does that one say? Cross off each number from one to 100 in alternating colors. Okay. So that would mean that every time you go to a new number you change the robot pen color to a different color probably going to want to use the repeat block as well okay so here we are we're getting into the last time through our repeat block here when it moves up to 81 it's going to move down here yep to our final sequence and if I programmed it right, it should end right on the square of 91. And you can see I put a stop driving command in there. And there we go, it stopped driving. And I successfully snaked my way all the way up to the top. So if you watch this video and you take this code just like I have it, you should be able to program your VEX code VR robot to do the same exact thing. Okay. And I would definitely challenge you to um, see if you can do the level two or the level three. Okay. And make sure you're looking down here at the helpful hints as well. Okay. All right. That's your challenge for this week. I hope that you can do that. Remember to be 
taking a screenshot or a screencast video like I'm doing right now to share this with you. If you can do one of those two things and submit these in Google Classroom, that'll help your teachers from the four middle schools give you some feedback on what you're doing. Have a great week, guys.